are here, I can't wait to see them. Do you remember this screenshot? These are the decor comps that Marina sent me as a gift. We will unbox them together. This is the biggest one, it can transfer up to 40 stitches. The medium sized one can transfer up to 24 stitches and the smallest one can transfer up to 12 stitches. I will use the smallest one in today's project. Without further ado, let's get started. Make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 40 needles on the front bed of the machine, 20 to the left and 20 to the right side of zero. Make sure the latches are closed and place the edge springs. Now raise 40 needles on the back bed of the machine. You have to observe the needle rule. Take the orange ruler and arrange the needles in one-to-one -one division, then move the edge spring on the last working needle. Do the same on the back bed. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 2. Insert the orange strippers and take the yarn. White is the first color and black is the second. For this project I will use two strands of acrylic yarn. Knit one row. Set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 3. Now knit two rows. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 4. Knit one row. Clear the row counter and set the stitch size to 3.5 on both sides of the lock. Now knit 12 rows. Clear the row counter and increase the stitch size to 4 on both sides of the lock. Now knit 27 rows, the lock must be on the left side of the machine. Set the front lock to GX and increase the stitch size to 4.5 on the back lock. Remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. Raise all 40 needles on the back bed. You can see the needles up close. Now rotate the racking handle to the transferring position. Put all edge springs to the ends of the beds. Take the UAT lock, set the lever to 3 and transfer all stitches to the back bed. Put all needles on the front bed out of working position. Lower the front bed and attach weights to the center of the knitting. Rotate the racking handle clockwise to its upper position and knit one row. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to N and increase the stitch size to 4.5. Set the back lock to GX. Lower the front bed, take the yarn from the lock and pull it to a knit 10 stitches. Now use the decker comp and take these 10 stitches on the right side. Today I'm using the comps for the first time. Now attach the stitches to the opposite needles on the front bed. All stitches must be into the hooks of the needles, not behind the latches.
Now use the comp and transfer 10 stitches from the left side to the opposite needles on the front bed. After transferring you must have a total of 20 stitches on the back bed and 20 stitches on the front bed. Raise the front bed, take both stitches in the middle and change their places. That will prevent a small hole from forming. Close the latches and place the edge springs on the last needles. Put all empty needles out of working position. Now knit two rows. Clear the row counter and set the front lock to BX. Take the second color yarn. Raise pushers and row needles in working position on the front bed and knit one row. Now put one pusher in resting position on the opposite side of the lock and knit one row. Repeat the same steps, put one pusher on the opposite side of the lock in resting position and knit one row. Repeat these steps until the row counter is at 13 rows and the lock is on the left side of the machine. Now start raising the pusher, raise one pusher on the opposite side of the lock and knit one row. Repeat until you raise all pushers, the lock must be on the right side and the row counter must be at 26 rows. Clear the row counter and set the front lock to GX. Set the back lock to N and change the color. Knit 20 rows. Clear the row counter and set the front lock to BX. Set the back lock to GX and change the color. Now knit 20 rows. Put all pushers in resting position. Clear the row counter and set the front lock to CX. Set the back lock to CX and knit 8 rows. Remove the edge springs at each end on the front and the back bed move the two end stitches one needle in. The stitches must be attached to the hooks of the needles, don't pull them behind the latches. Also make sure to put all empty needles out of working position. Now knit 4 rows. Use the transferring tool and move the two end stitches one needle in, basically repeat the same steps. You can see that the rightmost stitch on the back bed is missing, I have to lower the front bed and rehang it, I am showing you this part because it can happen to you. Now knit 4 rows. 
decrease on all sides the same way. Always put the empty needles out of working position. Now knit 2 rows and continue decreasing. Do you remember the last time when I was making decreases the same way? Knit 2 rows and continue decreasing until you have 4 stitches on the front and 4 stitches on the back bed of the machine. I will leave the whole thing so you can skip this part or scroll down and like the video. Need two rows again, we are almost ready. By the way, what do you use the decor combs for? I will appreciate if you leave me a comment and share some of your secrets with me. Need two rows again. Only my true fans are watching this part. Are you one of them? Need two rows and continue decreasing. Now we have 4 stitches on the front and 4 stitches on the back bed of the machine. Knit the last 2 rows. Take the yarn from the lock, cut it and thread it into the double eye bodkin tool. Remove the weights and start taking the stitches on the front bed from right to left. When you take all stitches on the front bed, start taking the stitches on the back bed from left to right. When you take the last stitch, the booty will fall from the machine. It should look like this. Now let's make the strap. First take 3 stitches with the triple decker tool. You can see up close. Rotate the rocking handle to its lowest position. Use the black yarn and the orange strippers. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 4.5. Raise 3 needles and attach the stitches to them. Attach a weight to the booty. Raise 3 needles on the front bed of the machine. You have to observe the needle rule. Knit one row. The lock must be on the left side of the machine. Take the double eye bodkin tool and transfer all stitches from the back bed to the needles on the front bed. Make sure the needles on the back bed are in working position and need 20 rows. The lock must be on the left side of the machine. Lower the front bed and use the yellow tool to make a zigzag latch cast off. 
The yarn is black and you probably can't see anything, so I will cut this part of the video. You can see how to make it in one of my other videos. Remove the weight, raise the front bed and remove the knitting from the machine. It should look like this. We have to sew the strap to the other side first, then sew the sides and the cuff of the booty. I won't show you this part either. That is the final result, we've made a super cute Mary Jane booty. Just an idea, you can sew a button or a small rosette to the strap. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video!